So the last few videos you guys watched us free camp on the Missouri River, go through a blizzard, visit Mount Rushmore, and make our way into the big sky country, Montana. We showed you some of our morning routines, waking up in our SUV, and we finally found a shower. Nice little town. This video, we make our way into Washington State, where we find a free camp on Moses Lake, cook some dinner, and enjoy the scenery. We make our way into a town that was very beautiful, but we should have done our research. Let's just say we booked it to the West Coast. And if you're new here, I'm Rachel. Yeah, I'm Eli, and this is Saya. Over the past few months, we converted and built out our 2007 Toyota 4Runner to live in while we travel west from Tennessee. Beginning of March, we packed up and left our home and everything else behind, not sure of what the future would look like. So far, we have slept at many rest stops and truck stops, parking lots, free camps on the rivers, and even in the redwood forests in California. We have went from sunshine to blizzards, campfires to propane. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and our new one that is linked in the description below to be a part of our YouTube family. We have arrived at our spot at Moses Lake. We do have a neighbor over here. The one restroom over there is public. It was just completely graffitied out and it wasn't my vibe. But over here, beautiful, clean, it's on top of a little hill right here. And then even down here, you have a little spot to go fishing. But yes, this is going to be our view. Neighbors. Can't beat free camp spots. So a little more further exploring, we found a little beach spot for us. So I don't have to go over there and fish. I can go right here. Say, so yeah, we found our camping spot. Oh yeah, we found our spot. Hi, honey. Guess what? We got our camping spot. <laughs> hey honey, let's go on a walk. She's like, I just woke up, mom. She sure is. Alright, here we go. There's Toast. She got us here. Where are we at? Hey honey. We found our free camp spot for the night. We have a neighbor down there. Say is on a walk and Eli's already down at the sand. Look at him. Eli's getting us some supplies down from the cargo box up there. Um, we're gonna camp here for the night. 
I know, we might have got too much. <laughs> Wait, so that's one? Yeah. Two. Three. Thank you, love. These are the pads for Say's litter box, which is a pellet based litter box. No smell. They're awesome. some rice, eggs, a little parmesan cheese. And while I'm doing that, Eli's still trying to restore that pot that came from my grandma. Um, that's been with us this whole journey. So we're gonna cook some food, enjoy this view, get a few projects done. sun's going down and it's beautiful. <laughs> You'll see it on the other clip, but this is the clip I was trying to get it together. So yeah. Where are you at? Uh, well, she's probably uh, in, the blanket. in the blanket all balled up. Or left behind. <laughs> yeah, or left behind. Nah, we gotta, we gotta track. Like it alarms us if she uh, decides to go on a road trip without us. We are in Washington, which is past through Seattle. We're going to go to a little town north of Seattle called Monroe and just hunker down for a few days. Got a lot of work to do. Um, going to enjoy the beautiful view and Eli's been driving so that I can edit. Washington. 
Seattle. Made it. Lots of traffic. This is probably the most intense traffic going through, but that's it. It'd be short lived. Eli's gonna visit his buddy over here, and hopefully, it's a nice little quiet town. made it to Monroe. It's a little town in Washington state. And we came to this park by the river. And it's beautiful. They have really big trees here. Huge. Bigger than Tennessee for sure. We found the witch's home. This is where she layers at night. Like, look at this tree. Oh, they can't see you because you're blurred out. We're in Washington State. But I'm not. Oh. Hey. There she is. She blurry. She blurry. There she is. Old toaster. Is this like an old fort? I don't know. I, I don't know. Because it's about 60 degrees, sunny, and the water might be pretty fair, right? 30, 32 degrees? Yeah. yeah. Went to this beautiful park in Monroe, Washington. But we did run into like a homeless person or to cleanse an area of evil spirits. There were these crystals on a tree, but it was eerie and we did find those ritual things. That I tried to hold her, that's what happened to me. She was possessed. I'm just in shock. So Eli came to the rescue. He there was a suicide. Several bodies have been found.
You beast, you little beast. So we're just leaving uh, Love's truck stop. Went in there, filled up, got all our necessities to make sure we're ready for the next part of our trip, which is Newport Beach, which is not the Newport you're thinking, not California, we're in Oregon. And it's 70 degrees, there's no clouds in sight, the sun is shining, and we're feeling great. So stay tuned, let's see how our day goes. I'm gonna do a check-in. So we're about 10 minutes out from Newport. Getting super stoked because it's getting super green. Super green. As you'll see in the video, that's going down like it's just, and it smells like wet moss. Like that's it, right? And then almost like beach, beach air. So we've never been on the Oregon coast, so this is by far one of the best sceneries we've seen so far. Yep. So stay tuned, we're almost there. Coming into Newport, as the sign says, and dead ahead is the Pacific Ocean. So, everybody doesn't know, but this is their first time on the West Coast at all. So, this is their first beach town on the West Coast ever, and it happens to be Newport, Oregon, not California. So, here's. But, yeah, beautiful town, it's gonna be great. Here we go. 